In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that will help you evaluate your Joomla site for accessibility. It's also a great resource for learning about accessibility and websites. Hey there, Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 179 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site, and while you're there, learn about all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. Don't forget, if you subscribe, decide to subscribe, you'll get your first month free by using the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. All right, accessibility is really important for your website, uh, not only because you want to have a lot of people visiting your site, and not only because uh, it's the law in more and more jurisdictions, but we want uh, people, everybody, uh, regardless of ability or other abilities, to be able to see websites. And so setting them up properly is important. The tool I'm going to show you now is a Chrome extension. Let's turn our attention to the screen. Scream. Don't scream. Turn our attention to the screen and we'll check it out now. All right, to find this, you're going to go to the Chrome store and you're going to search for accessibility insights for web. Uh, that's to accessibility insights. I'm just going to search for accessibility insights because that will take us there. I might even have it spelled wrong. But the, what we're looking for is this one here with the blue heart. I'll put the links for this in the description of the video below. Now, here we are at the uh, extensions page. We will click Add to Chrome. We'll click Add to Extension, and then right up here in the top right-hand corner, that extension is going to make a little appearance right here. And then when we close this, it will disappear. Now, if you want it always visible, click on the puzzle piece, find where it is, and click the pin. Now, all that's left to do is for us to go to a web page and do some testing. So let's do that. Let's go to the going to go to the basic Joomla site, and we're simply going to click on the extension there. Now, um, this you'll be uh, asked to uh, say okay to the privacy statement and everything. I'm going to say okay. Now check this out. Up here it says watch a three minute video introduction. This is a really excellent video about this extension. I've watched it. I encourage you to watch it because this has a lot more features than we're going to look at today. So watch that video there and then you will understand what these other options are and you can always check them out. But we're just going to look at FastPass right now where it says run two tests to find the most common accessibility issues in less than five minutes. All right, so I click fast pass and it's going to check very quick and everything passed on this particular site. Now again, here's where you can look at other things and information and use other parts of this extension, but it's as easy as that. Now let's close this. Let's go to a site that I know has an issue. This is my cyber assault site. And I'm going to, again, click the heart run the fast pass test and we will see all right there's a bunch of issues here now we can look at the issues right here and we can see the code and we can also see places that we can click for more information about color contrast which is the issue here or as we scroll down uh, here let's just close this bar here our definition list and again we can click more information about definition list Really cool thing is, is right on our page now, we have things that are highlighted and we can actually go and click on them and we can see the information, inspect the HTML, we can copy the details, uh, all sorts of things right there on our page. Now, if I click on entertainment, let's run a test on here. All right, that page is open and I will check. We'll do a fast pass. Uh, it's always been fast. It's never taken five minutes like they say. Now, there's 45 issues on here. Let's just minimize that window, or we could even close it, and we can start to go through. So what's the issue here? Well, this link name, uh, it doesn't have, uh, uh, it needs a link name. And I can look into what is necessary, and I can learn all about the things there. Also, I can go down, for instance, here, let's check. We'll click on this square that's over the Twitter button. And we see, oh, there's a color contrast issue. And down here it says, oh, fix the following. This element doesn't have sufficient contrast. So it's white in the foreground and it is um, blue, but it's not enough contrast. So that needs to be changed. And I can go down and look at other things all down through this site. 
at what I need to fix. So it is a really handy tool and I uh, really recommend that you use it when you're building your site so the most people are able to access your website. Now, next week, I'm going to show you a new experimental thing in Chrome, uh, Chrome Dev Tools that will make it even easier for you to adjust these colors and find an alternative so the contrast gets right. Uh, so to uh, get notification of that, please subscribe and ring the bell here so that you get notifications on the channel. Now, right now, there's a bunch of videos, things popping up. This is what YouTube thinks you should look at next. I think you should look at it too. So until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.